Martínez. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Reading Time with Jarvis. I'm your host, Matthew Jarvis. And in this podcast, we discuss my favorite books out of the hundreds that I've read over my career. And I must confess, however, that this podcast suffers from a bit of a recency bias, which is one of the many cognitive biases we humans have. But the recency bias says that the things that I've done most recently come to mind most readily. So I've noticed that several of these books, including the one I've recommended today, are not books that I read 10 years ago, but rather books that I read very recently that have had a big impact on my life. And today's book is Solve for Happy by Mogadot, G-A-W-D-A-T. I have to admit, this is one of the most impactful books I've read in the last five years. And I've read it several times and I've listened to it on audiobooks several times. Uh, it is an incredibly powerful story told by the author himself of being a high-level executive at Google, making tons of money, buying exotic cars, all these things, and still not being happy. So he took his engineer background, engineering background, and decided to create a formula to solve for happiness. So he creates this formula, and as fate would have it, shortly after implementing this format or formula, his son dies from a medical accident at a very young age, and it's absolutely crushing to him. And he uses that experience of his son's unfortunate death to test his hypothesis, his formula for happiness. And this book details through it. I do recommend that you listen to the audio book of that because the emotion of the author is so powerful and so moving. So here are a couple of action items I want you to take from this. And and again, this is not a book specific to financial advisors, but it is specific to anyone who – And myself falls into this camp as well, who have times to say, hey, I've been incredibly successful in all these areas, and yet I don't have the level of happiness that I necessarily want. This is me getting a little more vulnerable than I want, but here's the purpose of this podcast. So here are a couple of of takeaways from this. Takeaway number one, if there are two possible truths, so if there's two ways of explaining what happened, neither of which can be disproven, pick the one that makes you the happiest. Uh, Now, this applies – I apply this dramatically to the prospecting process, right? If a prospect tells me no, there are many explanations as to why. One could be that they just don't like me and that I'm a terrible financial advisor and I should crawl under a rock and die. Now, for those of you who are not financial advisors listening to this, that might sound like an absurd conclusion. For those of you that are financial advisors, you know that you have that thought every time a prospect says no, even just for a minute. The other possible reason they said no is that we're simply not a good fit. For example, if they came in and said, Matthew, I want you to help me take out 15 credit cards. I don't do that. So me saying no to them um, is no issue for me, right? So two possible scenarios. One, they hate my guts. I'm a terrible financial planner. Or option two, we're just not a good fit. Neither can really be proven or disproven. So I'm going to take option number two, which is that we're not necessarily a good fit, which leads me in a spot of being empowered, being positive and ready to go out and find someone who is a good fit. So if there are two possible explanations and neither can be disproven, pick the one that is most empowering to you. Takeaway number two, all happiness in life comes from your perception of events versus your expectation of those events. Events And so uh, here's where this applies to a prospecting event. If you are doing prospecting events, we've talked about these on the Perfect RA podcast, and in your mind you think, hey, there has to be 30 people that attend this event, and they all have to agree to become clients, or it's a complete failure, you are setting yourself up for a lot of unhappiness. And trust me, and this is detailed extensively in my book, I have been there so many times, it hurts me to think about it. If, however, I go into this prospecting event with the expectation of this is a learning opportunity that no matter what comes from this event, I will learn, I will improve. And even if one person shows up, right, I set my bar really low. If one person shows up and the only thing is that they don't throw rotten fruit at me, I'm going to count that as a win. Then I've set myself up for success. So when it comes to prospecting, this is a matter of setting lofty goals, but having realistic expectations. Yes, I would love for 30 people to come and I'm going to work my tail off to get 30 people there. But if I get just one person, I'm going to count that a victory. In fact, if I'm nervous about even getting one person, I might say, hey, if I get nobody and I just have a chance to practice my presentation, that is a win. Takeaway number three, this one is um, very powerful and a little bit more personal. 
And that is you never know when those closest to you are going to be gone forever, a.k.a. you don't know when you or the people you love will pass away. Stop telling yourself that someday you'll make time for your family, that someday you'll implement surge meetings, that someday you'll stop playing office, right? Do that now, as in right now, as in literally this second, go on your counter and block off and say, hey, I will never work past 5 p.m. again. I will never work on the weekends again. I will take weeks off each quarter to spend that with my family or the people that are closest to me. I'm not going to wait for someday because the only someday that we're guaranteed is passing away. So a little bit of a heavy, heavy book, a heavy topic for this podcast, but it's a book that's powerful to me that's meant a lot in my life, and I want to pass it on to you and your life, Solve for Happy by Mo Gadot. And in the immortal words of Nacho Libre, go, go away, read some books. Hold on before we go, something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. Information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and wife. 